Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. This is the contest number 227 and we are on the problem number 3 of this contest. So basically we are given two words, word 1 and word 2. And using these two words I have to construct another word that is the merge. So that word merge will be the merge of these two words. So what I can do is I can pick the first alphabet of the word number 1. And I can add that alphabet at the end of our merge which we are creating at the back of it. Similarly, I can pick another, I can pick one character from the word 2 and append that at the merge. So, out of these two moves, I can do one at a time and I have to return the lexicographically largest merge that I can form. For example, if we have the word 1 and word 2 as this, then in the first step, word, uh, I have these two options, right? I have B or C to pick. So as I want to make it lexicographically largest I will be picking up C so I will add C to the to the answer that I'm creating or the merge that I'm creating so C will be appended alright so now this much word 1 is left starting from A, B and A and this much word 2 is left now the first character I have, which I have to compare is A and B so I can either pick A or B I hope you are getting it and if you are not let me just make it clear with um, using the whiteboard you must be aware of this merge sort right so this is exactly same as that merge sort but there's some there are some cases I will tell you where and we need to keep those cases in mind while solving this problem so the first option that we have is this C and this B obviously we are going to pick C then we will increment this pointer and this pointer will now point to A then we have A and B as the option we will be picking up B and we will increment the pointer corresponding to the word number 2 and it will pointer here then the next option we have is to compare A and then C we will be picking up C and increment the pointer in the word 2 the same way we will keep doing this as we do in the merge sort but there's some trick the trick is let us say um, we have these two options right in this example which is given to us we have these two options to pick this G and this G they both are same so in the merge sort if two numbers are same we can pick either of them but here as we want to make the final answer as large as possible as we want to make the final answer lexicographically largest we will have to look at the characters which are coming after the current character as well so let us say if these two characters are same there was no doubt when these two characters were not same there was no doubt okay we could have picked the larger one of these two we were clear about that case but when these two characters are same then we will have to have a look here so basically we will have to look into the characters which are coming after this so if we pick this G if we pick the G from the word number one this is the word number one this is the word number two if we pick the G from the word number one we will be at a benefit how we will be at a benefit because we will be able to include this u merge earlier in so when we want to uh, make a character when we want to make a word as lexicographically largest we want that the larger character must come earlier so as we want this u to come as early as possible we would want this g to be taken and then increment this pointer to the next one i hope i'm clear here so instead of taking the G from the word number 2 this G I am picking up this G so that I can get the next U much earlier in the final answer so as to make the final answer as large as possible lexicographically right so that is why I will have to have a look on all the characters if the, if the two characters are same I will have to have a look on all the characters which are after this not all the characters but um, till the point I get a larger character so for that uh, let's come to the code I'm not going to code the entire thing because it's going to take a lot of time so the first step is simple taking two pointers I and J for word 1 and word 2 respectively this is my final answer that I'm creating then while I is smaller than um, s1 dot size and I is smaller than s2 dot size so s1 and s2 are my words okay now the first step is same as uh, that of merge sort so if s1 of i is greater than s2 of j now s1 
of i is greater all right so we will be picking up s1 of i because we want the world our answer to be lexicographically largest so we picked up s of i and incremented i if s2 of j is greater than s1 of i then we will be picking up s2 of j and then incrementing j this is fine okay this is fine awesome so now the next thing is if they both are equal I'm keeping two pointers X and Y initializing them with I and J then I'm running a while loop while X is smaller than S1 dot size Y is smaller than S2 dot size now if till the point they both are equal I will keep incrementing them okay now as soon as S1 is smaller than basically S2 of Y is greater in that case I will make F as 2 and break otherwise if S one of x is greater than I will make f as one and break so basically uh, if this is the uh, if this is the case where this s2 of y is greater then that means I want to include the jth s2 of jth character at the particular position in our answer so basically taking the s2 of j into the answer is more beneficial in this case Similarly, if the S1 of X is greater, that means in the future we will get something greater from the uh, S1 of X much earlier. In that case, I will make F as 1 and then break. So, after this I will check. I'm going to check here. So basically, if f is 1, then include the ith character. If uh, f is 2, then include the jth character. I hope this point is clear. I have already explained this in on the whiteboard. If it is not, then you can just repeat the video and watch it again. So this is what I'm going to do. So in case when uh, when both the characters are same, in case when both the characters are same till the end, and either f1 is, uh, either either we reach the end of s1 or s2, then in, this, in that case, f is going to remain 0. So for that, if I reached the till the end using the um, using the S1, all right. So I reached till the end using the S1. So I, I exhausted the entire S1. So in that case, I will not include anything from S1. Why? Because as we reached the end of S1 using X as the iterator, it might be possible that there is something much bigger in S2 which we didn't explore which we couldn't explore because we reached till the end of S1 so basically if we reach till the end of S1 what is going to happen is we will not be able to explore the entire S2 that is why we will be including something from S we will be including the current character from S2 instead of S1 it might be possible that there is something much bigger in S2 which we didn't explore because we reached till the end of S1. I hope it is clear. So this is it for the solution. If you like the video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel to get more such content in future as well. Thank you.